Hi, I'm uh, waiting here at the evac station for transport to be taken out of here. Looks like this place has got pretty bad, as most places have lately. Um, I'm going to leave a little message. Don't know what it's for, if anybody will be there to see it, but, uh, you know, I was just thinking, it was like 20 years ago when Walking Dead came out. That was like in 2010, and I was back in college then, and, uh, we used to joke about these zombie apocalypse, you know, and once I was going out with a, a girl and she said, I think there might be one one day, zombies, and I was like, get out of here, and she said, well, maybe not dead people, you know, just uh, people going crazy, drugs or something like that, and I was like, hmm, yeah, okay, well, yeah, little do we know, uh, so... About five years ago, there was a report uh, released by a congressional aide saying there was an attack imminent from the throwback uh, terrorist group, the anarchy group, and uh, the very next day was Indianapolis. You know, 75 people were infected, dozens were hurt by the infection, and the only reason the authorities were able to stop it so quick is they got, they were warned, so they were somewhat prepared. Uh, then the outbreak spread to other big cities, like Mexico City, uh, Nairobi, Mumbai. And uh, each time, casualties were kept in the low thousands until Lagos. And uh, what happened there was the terrorists had realized that uh, governments were using social media to be alerted, to keep a track of the diseases and infections. And uh, what happened was... They shut down the cloud internet that day and then released the infection. And by the time they got there, there were hundreds of thousands of people infected. And of course, there was nothing they could do. They had to destroy the city. And it's gone now. And, uh, well, <laughs> I think there's been 13 cities nuked now. And uh, mine's on the next list. So evac's on the way. Like I said, in the first few years, it seemed like they might uh, get it under control. But then they realized that... It was using gene-driven therapy to keep the infection going. Actually, it was an infection that genetically altered those who were infected. So most of the people would become infected immediately, but those that didn't had like an incubation period that might last years. And if they had children during that time, their children were infected. And the children wouldn't show any signs until they were started puberty. And then all of a sudden... They'd go nuts. Adrenaline, testosterone spiked. Um, they'd become rabid and kill as many people as they could before they were killed. And, uh, you know, then the government started trying to euthanize certain populations, and that's when the riots started and civil wars began to break out all over. So who knows what's going to happen right now, but, uh, oh, not yet. Uh, Recently, they're saying that the gene drive technology is horizontally jumping across species. Where they don't become rabid, though, they just become infectious. And then any human who gets close and infected, it's over for them. We can only hope that maybe people learn to work together instead of fighting about it. I see people moving around. I think transport's here. I'm going to be going. Good luck.